Boise State went on an improbable run last year. We made it to the national championship game. In that game, we felt Will Howard's wrath as Ohio State knocked us off. The rebuild would have been complete in just one year. Where's the fun in that? Sir Sponge has been going crazy on the recruiter archetype, pumping abilities that will help bring a strong class into Boise. Speaking of strong classes, we brought in some solid prospects for this season. Dom Stark, only normal dev, but he's ready to go at 75 overall. Tyrone Treggs, impact development. Prince Brewer, also impact. Ben McLeod, you guessed it, impact. Calvin Jewel rocking the crop top. Demarius Keys, and like I said, so many more. That leads to a tough first decision, who do we redshirt? And if you didn't know already, if they don't play in more than four games, they'll automatically get the redshirt. When it comes to the year two outlook, they might as well said forget the Mountain West Conference. Let's just call this the first team Boise State Conference. Even second team All Mountain West, we got a lot of candidates. Adding prospects to our board, looking at the recommended tab here, we see so many five stars and four stars off the rip. Let's go add all of these guys. Now that I have my group of 35, it's time to scout some people out and then offer scholarships to really essentially anyone on this list. If you're a five-star bust or not, you're getting a scholarship from Sir Sponge. Now that scholarships are handed out, we have free reign to use our points to scout out the remaining players so we can determine going into the future weeks, guys like Parker McGee, definitely send them the house. A five-star gem with 87 finesse move, 92 strength, 82 speed at the defensive tackle position. Dudes of the next Aaron Donald or something. Gem, Jeremiah Regis, a gem running back. That means he's a five-star. Same with Sidney Alley. Going back to Jeremiah, I noticed his hometown, American Fork, Utah. We have a little pipeline there. It's interesting. Our quarterback, Maddox Madsen, is from the same area. Demarcus Rishad, yes, sir. Not everyone is interested in us right this second, but that will change as soon as we start bringing it and identifying the guys we want to go after. Just from the little experience I've had already, I've noticed that athletes are not as cracked as NCAA 14. Back in the day, if you got an athlete, they'd be immediate difference makers. I've had one or two, but most of them actually don't really fit in very well. Let the games begin. It's a dogfight for the prospects. Vernon Crumple are one of them. Oregon's trying to take our dude is from eugene oregon so i guess that makes sense but we'll hit him with the house plus a little dm a late night risky action and then search the social media not on parker mcgee's list yet but that has to change like i said he's essentially a six star defensive tackle with 75 hours used up on him i better see boise state on the list making a move for warren mcleod good stuff guys that are bust and we're losing out on the battle need to go for my board so see you later mustafa 19th in the nation, making our season debut against the South Florida Bulls. We're playing at the Raymond James Stadium where the Bucks play in real life. This should be a fun one. I don't think the Bulls are bad by any means, and they got a guy here in Byron Brown that is a solid QB1. I already see Ulave on the defensive line, so some of our freshman starters are already in the game looking to make a big impact. Third and four, handoff draw. Trying to make the stop, fourth and inches, that should hold him the three, which it does, and he makes it. Second and inches, I see our guy Dom Stark out here who catches it and runs and scores. Oh wait, he stopped just short, one yard line. Talk about getting our four-star receiver involved in week one. Now lined up in the Wildcat, Dubar pitches it off to Dudley, trick play touchdown. You love to see it. Boise State is known for running plays like that, and this crazy kicking meter is going to be the death of me right here, isn't it? Fourth and 13, actually ice in the veins. Malachi Nelson back into the red zone, has a step here with Prince, who gets it in the corner of the end zone, big touchdown. Really encouraged by what I'm seeing early in this one from the team. I am going to go very wrong direction. Was low-key looking for a block to get back behind, and it didn't work out at all. Malachi snaps it here on third down. Not expecting much, but we'll go ahead and just take a big shot. Deflected. Game has swung upside down. We're now losing by one. So it's up to me to get us back right, and I got sacked while throwing. I thought the first meter was hard. This one's even harder, 53-yarder. I don't even know where to start. Just missed it right. Fourth quarter football down by eight, handing it off to Dubar, who's trying to cut up. Running a curl right here, going to Dom Stark. Wow, we got destroyed on that read by the DB. It looked promising until it didn't, am I right? Malachi, bad time to get cold, my friend. At least you can pick up the first down. Nope. 
fourth and inches Dubar, you got it for us there you go staying composed malachi is just going to deliver this ball right to penry for the first down and some now out of timeouts this is seriously our last chance if we want to tie it up i would like to take down the bulls if i can in week one as that's dom stark breaking away separation touchdown Freshy, freshy crime right there. Beautiful 19. Unfortunately, the Bulls did us dirty and scored, and we have no time left. So that interception is going to seal it. Heisman difficulty, a lot of ints, a lot of pain. That's game for the Broncos. All we can do is get back to the lab, work harder, and come out stronger next week, and then continue to build a recruiting pipeline that'll help us much more in the future not much change on the recruiting front our hours are staying the same looking into the same four and five star prospects we're winning most of these battles which is great especially parker mcgee like i said the six star defensive tackle this man would be the best signee in probably boise state history now i filtered it by in top five and i'm gonna look at anyone i could start to hard sell on why they should become a bronco case in point demarcus rashad he doesn't need to be sent the house anymore because we can get real strategic and go with one of these pitches, which the pitch we will use is to the house. So we were sending him the house. Now it's to the house. Same thing with Warren, the five star. Let's go ahead and give him the clutch. Don't think I'm in a rush really on anyone else. So I'll go ahead and give it one more week to uncover more about the prospects. Now it's time to get specific on how we pitch these five-star prospects. We've learned a lot more about their motivation. So I'm going to get rid of some of the previous recruiting activities and go straight for it. Grassroots for Vernon Crumpler. And then keep in mind, Utah and Stanford trying to get back in this race have visits on week seven and eight. There's literally only one hard pitch for Parker that includes his interest already. So we know no, his third one is coach prestige quincy's a student of the game keenan larson the clutch cole dunham we're giving up on him we're losing the race might as well free up some hours so i can send some people on visits sydney alley here wants the sec pitch and it's ironic because we're going to showcase the mountain west i got enough hours for one visit and i wanted to give it to quincy strange however usc's visiting next week and i can't give it to him before they get to him, so I'm worried about that. Instead, I'm gonna try to lock up Vernon Crumpler who has open visits. We'll have him take a family visit when we're playing App State and let the commits start reigning in. Jaleel Gann, our first one in year two. Tack on to Marcus Rashad, our second four-star. Check out Jeremiah getting Mountain West Player of the Week against Houston, even though we lost. I saw that panel, I assumed we beat Houston. Now Boise State's 0-2. Broncos 0-2, App State 0-3, a showdown of winless teams someone's gonna go and take it and let's go Boise let's go set the pace on the first drive of the game Dubar why do I always spin the wrong way third and eight we've been looking to the running back for every play here he catches it breaks a tackle and then walks into the back of that man so much for setting the tempo on the first drive it didn't matter because we're gonna score right here Bronco defense needs some help the blue field mentality I need the fans rocking and they weren't rocking enough look at that don't you just love seeing two winless teams scrapping it looking for that first one and Stark what a stud muffin great job Dom and horrible job Dom why didn't we go back to attack the ball we let the DB just outdo it i don't know what's going on is our defense non-existent all of a sudden or is app state offense that good it's been an offensive shootout all day long so let's go ahead and hit the stick and nod and there's the zig penry penry open again but that was a horrible pass into coverage i don't know why some of these throws are so inaccurate even from malachi get another chance here on offense if only we have time to find something flag on the play what is it going to be pi pass interference defense beautiful stepping up the pocket thrown into double coverage that was the most obvious pick i've ever seen out of timeouts this is officially our last chance so we have to make something happen and i didn't realize i just took off there that was crazy thought i was still behind the line but i guess not so let's hurry up the troops and see if we can strike big get out of bounds or stay in bounds okay great running low on time here can't mess around what was that well i'm gonna line up on the all go see if someone gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup that can burn their man and not necessarily a one-on-one -on -one there fourth and six let's do it again and please someone break free like lauder here so hurry up to the line hurry up hurry up hurry up we're gonna have to get this ball and take the snap the clock is winding down three two 
One, this is essentially our last shot. Let's just throw a one-on-one -on -one ball to our freshman. He caught it. Are you kidding me? As time expired, that is a huge play. Oh my goodness, that's mayhem. I'm going for two. I'm going for the win. After that, I don't want to see any more. I want to put this game on my back and dump it to the tight end for the win. Boise State is out of here. We secure it. Insane finish. It doesn't get more exciting than that if you're a fan of the game. Malachi, six touchdowns, player of the game, even though he had a handful of picks too. It totally didn't cross my mind. I had Vernon Crumpler visiting us on that game. The five-star got the win and got the recruit. Player of the week goes to Prince. I don't think y'all realize if we lost to App State, we would have lost to Vernon Crumpler. It was like minus three interest. Get ready, Boise fans, for this receiver to crumple opposing defenses. 92 speed, 91 excel, 90 spectacular catch, 97 jumping, 80s across the board in other departments. He's six foot five. What's not to love? Not to mention he's the number one ranked receiver in all of the land. On the flip side, I have a strange feeling we're not gonna win Quincy Strange. Hi, Kevin. Nelson. Jeremiah. Rashad. Quincy Strange. My strange feeling was wrong. Come on now, don't mess with the kid. There's this receiver, Trevor Stevenson. I haven't given any points. and He's a four star with 91 speed and I think he'd be a great addition to our our receiver room it's about time i give him some points and finish the job a couple guys getting down to the wire we have some points to schedule some visits so let's bring them in against the lobos let's call it a family visit keenan larson will attend one of our practices and with the remaining hours spencer i'm hitting your line crazy how the tide turns we have a rematch against notre dame they're two and four we're one and three who's gonna take it before we get to the result breaking news keenan larson five-star running back has arrived daryl jefferson from san diego welcome par Parker McGee, probably my favorite commit all the way from Connecticut, the best defensive tackle, six star prospect, packed his bags and went to Idaho. That's like cross country. The result as promised, we have Notre Dame's number 2724. Jimmy, Sydney, Warren, three, four, five star prospects all committing. May or may not have been able to find three more gems to my list. Not a good year for Boise Blue standards. We lose to New Mexico and barely squeak one out over Air Force. What is the holdup? A few more long recruiting battles won. No pun intended. George Long, welcome. At four and four, I'm trying to figure out what What's going on? Malachi, 2,400 yards, 27 touchdowns, 13 ints. Okay. Running game, non-existent ever since losing Genty. Dom Stark, a highlight here with nine touchdown snags. Not as much disruption as we'd like on the defensive line either. So to me, it feels like the team's just hitting a snag and maybe we'll start turning up in the second half. Sir Sponge getting a little bit out of his comfort zone. Just put some points towards Tactician, unlocking this tree, which will give us boost to attributes for our players, in-game performance going up. Finishing up the regular season, with a couple more commits like Andy Culver. Good sign there. Malachi Nelson finished with 3,300 yards, 36 touchdowns. Once again, only six touchdowns on the ground split by four guys. Not a whole lot to write home about either on defense. It's unfortunate that was the case as we finished five and seven, recapping the year, losing to USF, Houston, beating App State on that miracle play. Aztecs beat us. Then we win against Notre Dame. New Mexico beat us. Racking off three straight against Air Force, Hawaii, and UNLV before losing three straight to Fresno, Nevada, and Utah State. Gotta be one of the worst seasons at Boise State in the last couple decades. However, this is the best class Boise State's ever brought in, so tide should be turning soon. Now that I mention it, recruiting's not done yet, but we're number two in all of the nation. Tied for first with five five stars. 2025 Heisman winner, congrats to Rocco. Sunk my upgrade points right into blocking and the passing game underneath the tactician archetype. Maxing out blocking is gonna give some great boosts for the offensive line. Texas Longhorns secure the national championship game over Oregon. 34-32, what a battle. I am shocked to see so many people hitting the transfer for portal that is not good start off with ben mcleod please stay success dom stark was one of our main dudes why is he gotta go no prince brewer please stay hey, hey when you ask nicely it works jason Steele with a medium chance to persuade boom two big guys here in casey and Jaden. i think they didn't like the season we had 
Thankfully, I'm somehow persuading all of them to stay and Jaden, not quite. Persuading five of the seven to stay is not bad. Transfer portal's a little light, not too many people interested in our school. Only two guys I put on there, Jake Newell and Logan Brantley. Transfer portal just like high school prospects, gotta go fast. National signing day at last second buzzer beater, we became the number one class in 2025. Doing something like this will surely brighten up the day from a five and seven Bronco team. Training results are in and man this is a good team exciting times ahead on the blue turf i'm glad we had the recruiting class that we did last year because this one looks good but at an initial glance it's not as jam-packed as the many five stars and four stars we got if it ain't broke don't fix it same process as last year i do notice we have less recruiting hours which might be indicative of a coordinator change we had a guy stacking us up on the recruiting front and maybe he left, maybe his contract expired in three straight busts. Oh my goodness, this class not as heat as the one we saw last year. Timothy Corner in my corner, changing it up gem four star give him the scholarship didn't get to scout everyone but from my initial batch of 35 let's count the number of busts that's one for lampman two three four five six seven eight eight busts from preseason scouting that's crazy that's the most i've ever gotten opened up the season at home with a 35 20 victory over uab malachi nelson threw for four touchdown passes not to mention he rushed for 93 and carried one in himself three touchdowns from Prince. Big day from the Broncos. Now we got the Oregon Ducks and I'm gonna jump in there. But before we do, one of my favorite things to look at are the freshmen that we brought in and check out their development trait. Sidney Ali, a 78 overall quarterback right now. Elite development trait. This man looking like the next Trevor Lawrence. Buddy's actually crazy. 93 speed and 91 throw power with decent accuracy. Gotta get him in there. That's generational talent on our first prospect. What about the the rest, Demarcus, Rishad, impact. Warren McLeod, also impact. Kevin, just normal, but 77 overall. Nunley, impact receiver, just one of three we brought in to change the game on offense. Spam was another one. He's a six foot five star. Speaking of stars, you can't forget about six foot five Crumpler. There's honestly so many names of prospects to show you. I can't get to them all. Taking on the 10th seed in the nation, Oregon Ducks. This is always a hostile environment to play in. They have the home field buzzing. We week in week out not to mention that nike guy just gave the ducks unlimited nil so this team's going to be competitive every single year i was sad about losing dom but now we got guys like crumpler out here stepping up six foot five getting intercepted ducks eating that up defense refresh with star talent that's kind of what happens when you get the best class in the nation none of them stepped up there marching right down the field into the red zone let's dump it out to our new guy crumpler number eight pushing forward first and goal. RPO, just gonna hand it off and go nowhere. Snowflake under Nelson's name, now would be the time to connect with someone. Crumpler, how about your first collegiate score? Number eight is gonna be in for a huge career at Boise State as long as he stays. Start getting the NIL funds ready now. Defense can be difficult to play, that's what I've noticed. Most drives that I step up and do my thing, we don't usually get the stop like that. 23rd toughest place to play right now this season. This place is making my signals get all out of whack. Ducks are already 0-1 on the season. I think we can make it 0-2 if I'm being honest. Crumpler with his fifth catch of the day. He is a machine out there and I think we can get to him again. But in this case, Malachi plunging forward. What a run. Dubar up the middle. Do a little dance. It's touchdown time. Nothing like shutting up the home fans with a big performance by the Broncos. As Nelson lowers his head, he fumbles into the end zone. What could have been big points before the half turned into points from the Ducks. As Prince is off to the races, breaking free from the cornerback. I love to see the senior produce. If you paid a close attention like I have, things start to get wacky when it gets to the two-minute drill. It's like a mad dash right at halftime, if we're being honest. Thank you for the PI. You can't defend the six foot five crumpler. He'll crumple you. Uh-oh. That was horribly decided on. Red like a buck. Got exposed on the last one, but who's doing the exposing now? I really thought Crumpler was about it on that last one. Instead, it will be okay. Riley first and goal. On first and goal, Crumpler is just open in the back of the end zone, wide open. Practically just standing there asking me to throw it to him. I'll do that any time of the week. And look at the physical specimen breaking tackles. You can tell there's something special about that kid. It's just a matter of time till it's fully put together. Tell me that's roughing the passer on that throw. Yes. 
I got bailed out. Thank goodness I get a second chance here where I can go back to Crumpler. Let's keep competing out here. Another pass to you know who. This time we'll go over the middle. Looks like we have a step. Liggins with a dive. Racking a few completions here in a row. That was dangerous. It's called the slip screen and I couldn't even get it off. I clicked that as soon as basically it snapped and it didn't work. Instead, we'll take a 42 yard field goal attempt if this meter is in our favor, which it's really not, but we snuck it in. Good shot. Roughing the kicker? Oh man, what are the ducks doing right now? We'll accept it and try to go for six. These guys are imploding just a little bit. They can definitely get it right though with a big defensive stand right here. Uh, Crumpler is open. We get it to him. They didn't hear my audible, so we're just going to run the same play. I'm not going to risk it. RB is open, dumping it out to him. Do bar. Now we'll take our field goal. It's a 24 yard attempt. We should have a better chance at getting this one in. And we do. Third and eight, game on the line. Defense needs to step up and get a stop. It's going to be a handoff to the running back. And our defender just watched him walk by. Oregon Ducks score in that one is going to be a tough deficit to come back from we were looking pretty good for a while the pressure is just too much now just gonna see if we can send one up to crumpler six foot five specimen maybe he'll make a play he doesn't there in fact it felt like he was getting held up by the body of the secondary so maybe this second attempt here will be any better it's not he's in front of him that's all i could really do in this one impressive showing from the guys but not quite enough to take down the ducks it's all good we're on the come up we'll get there it's games like these where we're losing close ones to the ducks that have me really question how we even made it to the national championship in year one locking in our first commit matt lester from littleton colorado the gem tight end then right behind him is zach sturgis a couple three-star gems to kick off this year's class and a lot more interest in the gems along the way. Parker McGee, the best prospect in Boise State history, has arrived in his third game. Two sacks, three tackles, a TFL for Mountain West Player of the Week. I don't remember if I ever looked at Parker McGee's card, but as a six-star, you can almost guarantee he was elite dev trait. First four-star of the new season, Timothy Corner. In our corner. A full batch of gems just came over. When one domino falls, the rest start to come. Right here from Homedale, Idaho, Danny Osgood staying home. Ahmed making the way over from California. California. And next thing you know, the Broncos are six in one at the halfway point. Malachi Nelson, pretty efficient, 24 touchdowns, 1,800 yards. Ground game still needs some work, but it's a bit better than last year. Defense seems to be a bit better so far early in the season. Looked promising before the losing streak hit, falling to four and four in conference play. Colorado State, seven and one. It looks like they're going to compete for the championship game. The season could have been way different. We lose by eight to the conference champion, and then we lose by a couple touchdowns to New Mexico, Hawaii, and then finally drop it against San Jose State. With our overall offense and defense, that's unacceptable. Got my contract extended, but check out the first three years, 14 and three, out of the park, five and seven, fell back to earth, seven and five, now getting momentum in the right direction. Definitely gonna take the extension because we got another championship run to gear up for. Junior quarterback, Christopher Vizinia wins the Heisman. What a season, 4,400 yards, 42 touchdowns. Would you look at this? We're defending the home turf against UMass in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. You already know I'm going to have to cap off this episode jumping in to the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Getting selected to the famous Idaho Potato Bowl is essentially adding another home game to our schedule. We're not coming out with the hammer because technically it's a neutral site even though we totally would in real life. This is going to be fun. Potato Bowl action. UMass is the visitor. I think we'll show them what's up. Bowl season's always such a fun time of year, and it's crazy to see a team like UMass get to a point where they can even go six and six and get here. Congrats to them. First time on offense, right back against the goal line. Just need to get a couple yards. Now that we got a little bit of space, I can feel comfortable airing it out just a little bit more. As we hit Dubar, who turns it up field, good run after the catch. Pushing and shoving on the sideline. I don't think they like the fact that I showed him up like that. Here goes Crumpler making the acrobatic moss catch. Oh baby, that was something. Crumpler is built different, keeping the drive alive. And who's this? Bates just got wildly free. They got the Idaho Potato Bowl across midfield. Love to see it. On the reel though, if you're not Boise State and you get this bowl game, it must be pretty exciting to play on the blue turf, especially if you're not in the Mountain West already and you're visiting for the first time. That's gotta be an experience to get adjusted to. I'll go ahead and lob one up to Crumpler. That was to Crumpler? Was that really? 
quadruple coverage, like not even close to our target. Now all of a sudden we've been messing around and UMass is in this game. What's up with that? Boise State's usually got a great brand of running the football, but it's been hard to find with Gen T out of here. I believe Dubar graduates this year, so hopefully the guy we brought in, the five star, can do a better job. But we'll happily take the lead that we have right now and feed Crumpler to get more. I still can't get over the fact that Crumpler has such a cool name. And once again, man, I just got bottled up on triple coverage. Like if you run that back, that is not an in that should be happening as often. Also not denying the fact that was a bad pass. Yes, but that shouldn't be happening as often as it does. Fourth and three for the Minutemen. They're getting a receiver in motion. I wonder what they're going to call up here. I'm all over that guy, but this guy, the tight end gets free. And on third and 11, another slip screen. They did that the last time and we just can't get get there in time. It's unfortunate. That's going to go ahead and set up a heroic opportunity here for Malachi and the Broncos. All tied up with a minute 30. We can be victorious if we just get down this field. Just about midfield. Looking for anyone. Just going to lob one up into the danger zone. Defense got the stop they had to go and get. So we'll just go up on a one-to-one -one ball crumpler couldn't come down with it Bates in motion we'll go ahead and give it to Bates he got free and he's out of here with the joystick in all past midfield there's 43 seconds left a first down here gives us good field goal range up the middle back to Dubar second and seven just gonna keep it with Malachi probably not the best idea last thing we want to do is cough it up so we'll just hand it to Dubar try to get some extra yards just under 10 seconds this is the final kick for the win do we have it looks like it's gonna go right down the middle that's ball game and victorious broncos cap off their season with a bowl game famous idaho potato bowl that's our championship let's go just unlock strategist okay now perfect blend of x's and o's in talent acquisition all right let's go check it out this is perfect strategist gives boost on our visits the further tier list you go down mind reader will give you a chance to learn dev trade as well better performance this last season and on the up and up with recruits helped our championship contender rating go back up to c which will help mitigate some of the risk here. At least the persuasion chance is higher on some of these guys trying to lead because I'm telling you, we can't build a team or go to championship contending if the guys I need, you, are leaving us. Derek Moore just wants out because of playing style. Well, first of all, man, it looks like you were injured during the season, but if you want to come back, or not, I guess farewell. Now for the championship contender guys, number one priority is this freshman red shirt, McLeod. Bro, that's okay as long as we can get Prince Brewer, right? Wrong. At least the fullback. Come on now. Didn't get the guys I wanted to get, but I can go ahead and try to persuade Malachi Nelson from avoiding the first round pick of the NFL and coming to play for us. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think so. Big names in the transfer portal. We'll go ahead and take all three four stars and scout them out. William King, the center, looking good. Like really good. Dang boy, you fine. Pause. Spencer Fano, you too, my friend. Oh my goodness. Good strength, good blocking. We need these four stars. 90 speed, 99 agility, 97 change of direction, 92 break tackle for Sky Priestley. Cheat code. What do I got to do, homie, to get you over here? Two weeks into the transfer portal, we landed the cheat code we wanted to get. Not to mention the big boy as well, Spencer, and rounded it out, William King. How did we do? How did we do? 21st best class, still decent with 10 four stars, 10 three stars. It was a step back because I think that five win season jacked up all of our grades and it made it harder to target the big guy. Whereas keep in mind when we were number one, we just came off a national championship run. Regardless, I still feel like Ariana Grande, I see it, I want it, I got it. Malachi Nelson might have left us for the draft, but onward and upward, 88 overall, 90 defense, 87 offense. The team is coming together nicely. And do you see this corner? 98 speed, 99 agility, 99 change of direction. Get out of here. Vernon Crumpler takes his next step and Nunley is right behind him. Parker's gonna be a hungry, hungry hippo this upcoming season. To leave you all hungry for more for the next episode of the Boise State Deep Dynasty Rebuild, look at this first team all mountain west panel the entire defense is there if you've been soaking it up with your boy king sponge hit the subscribe button and go ahead and check out any of the college football content on your screen now